It's the RX 580 8GB GDDR5. Ready on chill. Step one, you want to be removing your current graphics card. So there's a button there, you push and you pull it back. Unscrew these pads. Pull it down, then slide it out. This one's quite tricky to take off, so you just pull it out and pull it a bit left, then pull it up again. And You'll learn a lot about how to take this guy off by trying to put it back in. You've got to line this bit in this little hole, push it down, get stuck. So you need to make sure this part goes underneath this part. Then you line the back plate through that hole, push it down, kind of like pulls down and you just kind of just push it in and it's a perfect alignment. It's a bit tricky. But well, you get the hang of it. So I'll lift it up, pull it back diagonally, and then it comes off like that. I'm gonna take off this pin, pushing this down, and pulling there like that. This card can go away. Now, in order to place the Radeon in there, you're gonna have to use both mini six pin connectors. There's a six pin connector here, and there's a six pin connector here. Now, no. This is a six pin connector, but this one over here is a mini six pin connector. So I've got a second six pin PCIe power extension connector. It's wrong size. This one's mini six pin connector. So you're going to need a second one of these. Right, so to plug these guys in, you simply get the mini six pin portion and plug it in to the hole. There you go. So now we have two six pin connectors. This guy is a six pin connector, dual, into one eight pin connector. That hook goes with that hook. So now we've got two 75 watt supplies into one eight pin, and that's the requirement for the RX 580. So over here is the beast of the card and it's huge compared to the old one. To push it in, we're gonna do the exact same method as put it in the previous card. What I'm trying to do is align this onto that. I think something went in just now. That's good. It's really hard to tell, but it looks like it's gone. And you just need to play with it, to be honest. Once that's done, just plugs in, and now it's locked in position. It's not completely flush, but you can see the screw holes. What's next to me now is get the 8-pin and plug it into the 8-pin hole. 
It does have both options, but it does say in the manual it's optional to put in a second six pin. That's for if you're gonna be overclocking that kind of stuff. So again, the bit that sticks out to the bit that sticks out, so just put it in this way. All right, putting this guy on was a bit of a nightmare. I do recommend you putting it on before actually putting it down. Then I'll put this mounting plate back up. So you wanna get these screw holes in the two holes in the back, those ones. So not, not these ones, but there's a hole there and there's another one up there, and that, that hole up there. So to get this guy back on, remember the long side goes to the top, you slide it in. And then once it's in, you slide it in and then you push it upwards so it goes underneath that hook. There you go. So this guy is now completely under. Now you screw this guy in, push down and you rotate. You'll feel it pop into place and you do the same with the other one. All right, my friends, so we've got the graphics card. Now it's time to see if this bad boy still runs. This guy off. There you go. We've got a nice sapphire logo. No signal on the screen. Hey. Alright guys, we're in. We got our RX580 up and running. Unfortunately, you don't get the boot screen, so you don't see the Apple progress bar, but I can see it's asking me for my password, so that's really good. The logo's lit up. I'm happy with that. Let's see how it performs. Straight away, I can see that the mouse is a lot more responsive. I'm gonna check out about this Mac. But as you can see, it recognizes that it's a Radeon Pro 580, and you can use HDMI audio out. Ooh. Look at this beast, look at this beast, look at this beast. Whew. 